Heidi Ho, Welcome Bar Club. This will be a how to tutorial. I show you how I do stuff. I got some good feedback on how I pre-paint uh, wooden planks. So I want to show you how I do it. <laughs> several times how I do this, uh, how I paint the wood. Maybe also here I got planks and uh, beams and then I glue them together. And um, how I get this, this look. For example, I also put it at this flooring. Oh, window frames, the insides and the sills and also this guy, also the doors. It's all the same stuff. I'll show you how this becomes this. <laughs> From this big board of insulation XPS, I'll cut this 10 centimeter brick because my wood planks will be 10 centimeters. From that brick, I'll cut some tiles in the thickness eight millimeters, 10 millimeters, and 12 millimeters roundabout. It's just eyeballed. Then I take three of those as a pack, hold them really tight, and slice two millimeter thin planks of that. So my wooden planks are two millimeters thick, 10 centimeters long, and they have three uh, variations in the width 8 millimeters 10 millimeters and 12 millimeters i made this funky tool from popsicle sticks and uh, toothpicks and the hot glue gun that's my texturing tool i tried brushes all kinds of metal brushes plastic brushes but most of the time when i when i textured uh, xps with it it ripped it apart and then it gets those small wrinkly crinkly not cool looking textures and with the with my homemade tool uh, there's almost no pressure really flat angle pull it across one two three turn it around one two three that's it and it doesn't rip and it's deep enough and it looks cool afterwards so when all the texturing is done I'll paint those suckers. Um, I put on my rubber gloves. I don't use, use a brush, I use my hands. At first I use an English red. It's an art supply acrylic paint. And then I put some color in my hands and then I massage it in really chaotically into the pile of uh, textured XPS pieces. Then I take some kind of yellow ochre it looks like ketchup and mustard. <laughs> what is really important, I cut open a, a plastic uh, sack and uh, then one by one, not touching each other, I lay down the colored um, planks. If they touch each other, they will stick to another and then you will, you will rip them apart. They, you can just throw them away. That's the magic making a, a nice uh, pattern, not touching. I sprinkle randomly a light gray and dark gray on it with a brush and then I go over it with a black wash. Really chaotically, when there's pooling, it will look like burnt wood. If there's nothing, doesn't matter, then it's a light wood. And then it really has to dry overnight until it's completely dry. When they're dry, they go into the bit box. That's it. That's how I that's how I do my wood. Why I do all of this is I prepare it and when I want to build something I just pull out the book bits box and start building and then it's done. Just cut it to pieces, glue it on. That's it. If you like the content, I would love if you subscribe and hit the bell button and like the video. 
And maybe if you want to support what I'm doing and videos and crafting and stuff, you can find several ways in the description down below. See ya!